thing that gets me, you know, people talk about, you know, uh, you know, you can grow in love with somebody. Hell no. Hell no. Don't grow in love with me. Be in love Ooh. with me from the jump. We grown. Let's just walk in love together. How can two walk together lest they agree? Come on. Right. What are we doing? Right. <laughs> Yo, I mean, to your point, we're too grown to be sitting around waiting to catch feelings for somebody. Mm -hmm. Please oh, bring no. bliss to the stand. Bliss, what the hell are you doing giving this guy a second chance? What the hell? Like, I oh my understand. gosh, the way Bliss handled it the first time when they met up at the dinner, she's like, all right, well, I, I got to get my coat. I got to go. I'm like, yes, Bliss. Yes, that's the way you're supposed to respond. But then when I saw Bliss pop up in, what was it, episode seven or eight, I'm like, like what are we please? doing? What's Bliss, going on? Please. Why are you I'm at like, his house? Show, at, at his house, on top of that. I'm like, oh my God, Bliss, really? Is he really your type that much? Like, like I, I, I'm going to just say it. Bliss, Go. you're the finest woman on this show to me. The fact that you allowed yourself to be a runner-up to ugly duckling Irina, like, are, are we are, are we really, are we, like, it's bad enough that a man pick you second. It's even worse that he picked the ugliest woman over you. He didn't know, well, I mean, they didn't know. He, he thought, wait, Remember, Zach called Irina Megan Fox. Let's just say that. And, and we and we all know that he's delusional for that. Oh, she may look like a fox, but not Megan Fox, right? Listen, even Irina was like, "Boy, what?" <laughs> she didn't believe him. <laughs> this to me, second chances, giving somebody a second chance. Mm -hmm. See, this that doesn't qualify as a second chance. <laughs> like, like to me, uh. uh a uh, 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 a follow up, backup, fallback, rebound proposal. That ain't a second chance. That's a it's missed chance. <laughs> That's a missed chance. Like I, I am not gonna hold you up. Like there's no way that I would ever get down on one knee to a woman, and she say no to me, and then months, weeks, years down the line, she comes back and be like, I want to say yes. Well, I promise you, I haven't been waiting for you. I haven't been waiting for you days, weeks, months, or definitely not years. The minute you say no, it's a wrap. I hold that frame when it just comes to regular relationships. I think I've shared previously on the show that there have been times when, you know, I let a young lady know that, hey, I want to pursue a relationship with you. She was like, no, I'm not interested. Cool. Then years later, we still friends, whatever. Now she following up like, yo, I want to be in a relationship with you. The answer is no. And she come back. I want to be in a relationship with you. No, why not? You miss your chance. Well, I don't. I don't allow people to double dip. Like you know, I, it ain't no doubling back around here. Like I don't operate like that, and I'm definitely not going to allow somebody else to treat me like that. No, I'm not going to be your second choice, your third choice, none of that. If I'm not number one from the jump, I ain't got no interest in you, and I'm not going to press you either. Like, and I, that's the thing mm -hmm. for a woman like this. Come on, man. Like she got. Anyone to she a certain wants. extent, her pick, like, mm -hmm. but she wanted Zach for whatever reason, and I that just, right there, the fact that you had to add that tells us everything that we know. You had to say for whatever reason, because you don't even know the reason. Like, what reason you know, would she want Zach? Right? I still don't see it for them. There are so many people who are rooting for these two, and I don't understand why, bro. I don't, and I'm just like, ah, uh, bliss. I don't know. I, I'm glad I'm not alone, Jay, because I agree. I would not want to have been picked second. If you pick her, that's her. She yeah. told him in the pods, like, hey, if can you I pick throw, I, Can I throw a hypothetical at you? Mm -hmm. Let's say it was a dude that, to, to, to Bliss's credit, that you fell in love with. I mean, like, Tatiana, you want to be this man's wife. And for whatever Ooh. reason, you were going to be his wife. And then he was like, nah. And then not too long later, he come back around and now he he's interested in that. Do you feel like you can kind of understand that? Do you think you would even entertain that? Is the no if the first time because he picked someone else? Yeah. Well, I can't go. Personal boundaries. You're yeah. not going to do that to me. Yeah. Either I'm the one or I'm not. That right there, man. That right there. And, and this is my thing. I have to be the one right now, not later. 
I'm not signing up for some. Yeah. some <laughs> this, is, this is the thing that gets me. You know, people talk about, you know, uh, you know, you can grow in love with somebody. Hell no. Hell no. Don't grow in love with me. Be in love Ooh. with me from the jump. We grown. Let's just walk in love together. How can two walk together lest they agree? Come on. Right. What are we doing? Right. <laughs> Yo, I mean, to your point, we're too grown to be sitting around waiting to catch feelings for somebody. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. And, and can I speak on this for a second? Because like the yeah. whole concept of this show, I think it's fun for TV. But in reality, this is retarded. Like, <laughs> and, I, and I say that because love is not blind. Like to me, the number one thing is being attracted to somebody. I care more about whether I'm physically attracted to you mm -hmm. than all of that other connection because it's going to go right out the window like we saw it. Like you can make all of this dope connection, but Woo! you, you want to know, know the main tell to me who really mm -hmm. connected deeply? Yeah. When when Brett and Tiffany connected, I was like, oh, dang, they about to suck each other's face off. Like yeah. it's not even like it, it ain't even like they strangers, but everybody else church no. or let me kiss you on the cheek i'm like they ain't make no connection i was like real connections look like brett and tiffany where you kissing somebody all in the mouth that's how you do somebody that that's not a stranger but a stranger you're gonna be like i don't really know you like that but hey how you doing it. those doors open my my boy brett ran i was mad about that I, to tiffany a little bit running to her, but uh yeah everything else that little step and step like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Tiffany, don't run to this man. Let him come to you, okay? Y'all come neither, to Neither one of them need to run. Like, y'all saw Chelsea. <laughs> like, she, yo, she turned into the dog on road runner to get to that man. Ooh. I was like, girl, you proving everything I'm thinking right. The stereotypes are fitting in that relationship. But Bro, yeah. strongly, strongly. But listen, but listen, remember, Bliss herself said in the in one of those Come, what's it called? Confessionals mm -hmm. that she believes that love is blind. And I was like, girl, I was like, bliss. Now bliss. Bliss, stop playing. Bliss stop in playing. my face. <laughs> <laughs> with your steak in a bag with Zach. Okay. Like, no. I right. didn't I didn't want them to get back together. I didn't want her to give him no. another chance. I, yeah. I called myself predicting, like, oh, she's not gonna give him another chance. She just wanted to see what he looked like. Then tell him no again. <laughs> right. Like I and said, she she did everything right the first meeting. She really did. Everything right. I love I loved it when he was trying to like talk about another meeting. She like, I'm getting my coat. Gotta go. That was nice. I'm we'll like, see. Yes, we'll I was rude. <laughs> when I saw her show up at his house, I was like, I was like, what are we doing? Where are the camera? Why are the cameras here? Why are we at Zach's place? What's happening? Why, the, why am I seeing this? Hey, but this is what I'm holding my hopes out for. Her mm -hmm. father is a real one. He's listen. about to walk his daughter down the aisle like, yo, listen, it's you. It, like, yo, this guy? <laughs> I can't remember his exact words, but her father turned to her and said some real stuff. Like, it is your choice. Like, listen, you if you marry him, you're the one choosing to compromise. Like, <gasps> like come on. Like Ooh, that's her father word. knows she can do better than this dude. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. Let's be real. Come on. And, and Zach is not that bad. I just don't think he's a good fit for her. I don't, I don't think, think they're yeah, I don't yeah. think they're a good fit for each other. When he was um when they were at the party, Chelsea's party, and he walked over and he kissed mm -hmm. her while she was talking to Micah, and he had yeah. she and Micah mentioned, Yeah, salmon. I'm like, mm -mm, I don't like that. Don't interrupt me while I'm talking to my friend. That seems like low key passive aggressive. I don't and think like, he. What are you trying to thing. do? I don't think. I think. I don't think he really like view it like that. You know, some I'm men like, kind of posture like that. He seems too clueless to me to even equate that. He has good moments and then he has cringy moments. To me, I didn't like that. I'm like, don't come over here yeah. and randomly kiss me out the blue, my guy. What are you trying to prove? It's, it seems like he's trying to compensate for something. Hmm. Like, well, this is the thing, right? Where she's your girl, like relax. She's not yeah. going anywhere. The thing with Zach, that man is broken. Mm -hmm. Right? That man, that man is 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 broken. That's the reason why he chose Irina. Look, like, like, yeah. like let's not ignore the fact that the, the reason why he chose Irina, two reasons. One, with regards mm -hmm. to Bliss, he was afraid to have to face her family because the past and the history with his mother and how every other girl that he mentioned that he's dated, their family has always rejected him because of his history. 
-hmm. That was the one thing that he was afraid of that I really believe kind of pushed it over the edge with regards to him choosing Irina over Bliss is he was just fearful of facing her parents. And mm -hmm. then the, the, the second thing was the fact that remember when he told Irina that she was like, uh, I think aggressive or something like that. And like she she kind of felt some type of way about it um, or volatile. It was some word. Vicious. That he, he meant, vicious. Yeah, vicious, vicious. He looked at her as his protector. And I was like, ooh, wee, that's a problem. This man is looking for a vicious woman to protect him because he's weak and broken. Like, that is not a woman, I mean, excuse me, that's not a man that any woman wants to align herself next to. So like, that to me was a problem. And then when he had, he was already looking like, okay, well, I got this woman that might be able to protect me. You know, she kind of vicious. If somebody step up, not knowing, bro, like, you're going to be the first person she stabs a knife into. <laughs> like, she don't like you. She don't and care about you. She just wants to ruin Bliss's chance of connecting with you. That's all she care about. And she got her little karma in that whole situation on the couple's trip. Even with that, with them first meeting her, um, Irina and Zach, it was, that was so awkward. That was the yeah. most awkward couple's Yo, reveal on the You, see, you know it wasn't, wasn't real. You, you want to know the one thing that may, let you know it wasn't real between them? Mm-hmm. The teddy bear right in the bed in the middle of them. <laughs> like yes. you, got, you got two grown people with a teddy bear right in the middle. Like, yo, mm -hmm. he's the barrier. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. They were messy. Right. I did want to know too that Bliss did mention that um none of her parents, her parents liked none of her exes in the past. And that yeah. um she told Zach that um perhaps he's the first non-a-hole boyfriend that she's gonna bring to her family. I'm like, sis. Mm -hmm. sis what are we doing why are yeah. we why do we have a pattern yeah. <laughs> of dating these men who are a-holes and that that brings up a solid point because i would look at you talked about before like the need versus want dynamic i would look at bliss seems more genuine to like having a type of dude that is not a good dude and now she understands what she needs and she's actually wanting that and pursuing that versus mm -hmm. jackie Jackie's just saying ah. she know what she need, but like she don't really want it yet, though. Yeah. Like I, I truly believe Bliss want to be somebody's wife. Jackie Bliss is in a different stage. Bliss is could be like Jackie at a different stage, right? right. A different right. level. Like, trust me, man. Like I, I don't know Bliss, but I'm I'm sure she had her season. If y'all know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I you know, I'm sure she, she had know. her season, man. By by your own admission, you know she said she was bringing some a holes home. Y'all know how they get down. Mm-hmm.